The question is, is hydrogen power the fuel source of the future? Well, there are advantages and disadvantages to using hydrogen power, particularly in the form of hydrogen fuel cells. Let's investigate some of them. We will first look at the advantages. Number 1. Energy conversion efficiency. When compared to internal combustion engines, hydrogen fuel cells offer better energy conversion efficiencies. Without the requirement for combustion, fuel cells may transform chemical energy straight into electricity, increasing total efficiency. The effectiveness of hydrogen fuel cell devices can, however, still be increased. Number 2. Clean energy. Hydrogen and oxygen mix chemically to produce power in hydrogen fuel cells, with the only byproduct being water vapor. With no greenhouse gas emissions at the point of consumption, it provides a clean and effective way to produce electricity. Number 3. Versatile and scalable. Both fossil fuels and renewable energy sources, including as wind, solar, and hydroelectric power, can be used to manufacture hydrogen. This adaptability permits a flexible energy mix and can aid in the shift to a low-carbon economy. Number 4. Hydrogen can be utilized as a kind of energy storage, assisting with the management of intermittent renewable energy sources like wind and solar. Electrolysis can be used to create hydrogen using surplus power generated during off-peak hours. Hydrogen can then be stored and turned back into electricity when needed. Number 5. Similar to gasoline or diesel vehicles, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles may be refueled fast. Compared to electric vehicles, which take longer to charge, they are therefore more practical. Number 6. Utilization of waste heat. One benefit of hydrogen fuel cells is their capacity to make use of the waste heat produced during the generation of power. The overall energy efficiency of fuel cell systems can be increased by capturing and using this waste heat. Now let's look at some of the drawbacks of hydrogen. Number 1. Hydrogen can undergo transmission and distribution losses during storage and transportation, just like any other form of energy carrier. To maximize the total efficiency of hydrogen power, it is crucial to reduce these losses through effective infrastructure and delivery systems. Number 2. Infrastructure development. It is still expensive and constrained to support the production, storage, and distribution of hydrogen. The development of a vast distribution network and the expansion of hydrogen refueling stations would take a large financial and time commitment. Number 3. Storage and transportation. Compared to traditional fuels, hydrogen has a poor energy density, necessitating larger storage and transportation systems. Technical difficulties and expense increases may result from this. Number 4. Cost. At the moment, hydrogen energy is more expensive than conventional fossil fuels. For wider commercial viability, the price of hydrogen generation, infrastructure building, and fuel cell technology development must be reduced. Number 5. System integration and optimization. Hydrogen power must be successfully integrated into diverse energy systems in order to achieve high levels of efficiency. Along with renewable energy sources, energy storage innovations, and intelligent grid systems, this entails optimizing hydrogen production, storage, transit, and use. Number 6. Efficiency of hydrogen production. One of the most important factors in evaluating how efficient hydrogen power is overall, is the efficiency of the processes used to produce it. The majority of hydrogen currently produced comes from fossil fuels through a method called steam methane reforming, which is less efficient and emits carbon. Alternative techniques, such as electrolysis powered by renewable energy sources, offer more effectiveness and less environmental impact. In summary, there is a heated discussion about hydrogen power's potential as a future energy source among academics and stakeholders. The adaptability, energy storage capacity, and potential for zero-emission fuel cells, according to its proponents, make it an essential component of the transition to a sustainable energy future. They draw attention to its potential to enable energy independence, assist the integration of renewable energy sources, and decarbonize transportation.
skeptics draw attention to problems including high costs, the need for new infrastructure, and efficiency issues. The outcome of the ongoing discussion will likely depend on technological developments, economies of scale, and supportive regulations. Hydrogen power has the potential to play a significant part in the development of a clean and sustainable energy system. But at what cost? The debate continues.